The Silverstone-based Stracker Racing Team is preparing for the start of the World Endurance Championship. The season begins in two weeks and will take the team to race tracks across the world. The first round is at Sabring in Florida before teams head to Spa in Belgium. This season Stracker features an all-British lineup with the three drivers all eager to get behind the wheel of the new car. The Cron visited the team at their headquarters to see how preparations were going. Well, the team Stracker Racing has been based here at Silverstone for the past six years now. Um, grew from a very small Brit car outfit into what is now one of the, uh, the top privateer sports car teams in the World Endurance Championship. Well, this year the, the ACO, the Automobile Club de West, and the FIA have combined forces uh, to, uh, to form the World Endurance Championship. World Endurance Championship uh, consists of eight rounds this year, um, starting with Sebring in March, and then goes to Spa in Belgium, then Le Mans 24 hours in June, uh, then to our home race at Silverstone in August, and then after that we then go to the flyaway legs, which consist of Brazil, Bahrain, Fuji in Japan, and Shanghai in China. Are these all tracks that the team has raced at before? Most of them are. The Japan and China event the team's never been, um, but we have the facility of a very um, advanced simulator program with Worth Research, which allows us to run on those circuits before we actually get there in a, in a virtual sense. Other races during the season include a round at Northamptonshire's Silverstone Circuit and the classic Le Mans 24 hour race in France. Oh, I mean, it's, it's one of the most famous races in the world. Uh, it's the blue ribbon event of the championship, you know. Um, iconic three weeks <laughs> in June in France. Um, it's double points in terms of uh, championship points. Um, so, yeah, it's a massively important event for us, um, not just in the, uh, the kudos of winning the world's biggest race, but in terms of uh, getting the points to win the, the championship overall. This, this year's car, the HPD ARX 03A, is a brand new car. Um, this car has only been in existence for six weeks now. Um, it ran for the first time last week. UP1 car. Um, we're very confident, uh, very excited about its potential. Um, and I think in terms of uh, in terms of a team, we are hoping to win the Privateers Cup this year, um, which is obviously away from the Manufacturers Championship um, and it is, a, is an achievable goal for us. So uh, I think with the support of HPD, of Worth Research and Michelin, our tyre supplier, I think we've got a very good chance of achieving that. Driver Johnny Kane has been with Stracker Racing for three years. He started in karting before progressing through Formula Ford, Formula Vauxhall, Formula 3 and Formula 3000. Yeah, we did our first shakedown uh, of the new car on Friday at Snedderton, um, which was really just a, a major functions check, make sure that everything works uh, as it should. Uh, that all went really well, um, made sure that the drivers were comfortable. Obviously, we're in the car for a long time, so it's important that we've got a lot of support. Uh, the car pulls around three and a half G, um, so you basically weigh three and a half times your body weight. So, you know, seating is very important. So we, we signed all that off, and uh, I think we're looking in good shape for the first race. A lot of it's uh, team effort. Um, you know, it's nice to share the car with other drivers um, and and the rest of the team. Um, you know, you feel like you've actually achieved something as a group when you get a result. Uh, and the downside is that uh, you know if things don't go your way. You, you know, you've got other people that you've let down. So there's sometimes a little bit more pressure on the, on the driver's side of things, but um, the three of us get on exceptionally well. We have a lot of fun together, and uh, we all want to win, so um, you know, it's a great environment. Well, we normally drive for what we call a stint, uh, which is a full tank of fuel. That will be about 45 to 50 minutes, and we do either double or triple stints. Uh, so at Le Mans, we're probably looking at two and a half hours to three hours in, in one go. Le Mans, I think, is still one of the biggest races in the world, along with the Indy 500 and probably Monaco F1 race. Um, so from, from my point of view, it's the biggest race that I'll do this year. Uh, it'll be my ninth time at Le Mans, so I've been there quite a few times before. Uh, I was with the team in 2010 when we finished fifth overall and won our class in LMP2. So, um, you know, I'm really pleased to say that I have actually won Le Mans before and, um, you know, really looking forward to going back this year. It's a special place with the amount of history that's involved and um, the length of track, eight and a half miles per lap. So uh, it's a big event and I'm really looking forward to it. I think if we can be on the podium in certain races this year, if everything goes our way, that'd be a, a great achievement.